So a lot of people are just researching into getting a sea star and they don't really know how it works. So they've been searching YouTube, trying to find out exactly what they can expect when they get their sea star. And so this video is to show you from the app of the sea star, what it looks like to process images, to find the image, that sort of thing. So that you'll have realistic expectations of what you're going to get. The sea star, it doesn't just point at an object and all of a sudden you have this brilliant, fabulous image that you can print and show all your friends every single time. Um, it does a stacking method where it takes 10 second exposures and stacks those on top of each other until those added layers of light that is reflected creates the image. And so it can be a long process sometimes. And so I wanted to show you what that looks like in the app. And so um, this is the C-Star app. And when we go to the app, we're going to just go and find an object. And the one that I've chosen to do today for the experiment is Bodhi's Galaxy. It's M81. And the reason I've chosen this one is because it starts out the first exposure or two is a just a faint little fuzzy dot in the sky. And then with each added exposure, it gets better and better until you start seeing the spiral arms of the galaxy. Um, so you see on the app, it just barely found it. That little fuzzy dot right in the middle of the screen is Bodhi's galaxy. Well, that doesn't look terribly fabulous at this point. And so you're not too impressed. Uh, you see that little dial at the bottom? That is the 10 second exposures. Okay, so it just saved one 10 second exposure. It shows that in the top right hand corner. And it's continuing to do additional 10 second exposures. It's now saved 20 seconds you see in that top right hand quarter. So that's two of those 10 second exposures. And you see it's already getting a little brighter there. It just clicked on a little brighter, a little brighter. It's got three 10 second exposures now. In the left hand corner, you see that it says in red enhancing. And every once in a while underneath it, you'll see this red, yellow, and green line. And that's the process that the C star uses to stack and stretch those and match up the stars so that they're all aligned so that when it drops that new exposure on top of it everything is lined up and that's what that is doing um, this one it's it's now you're starting to see the arms of the galaxy for every one of those exposures you can almost see it brightening um, if the little um, icons over on the right hand side and are distracting to you right at the top of this screen right under where it says M81 you see those four arrows and if you tap on that it'll make all of those icons go away. Now with Bodhi's Galaxy you can see down in the bottom left hand corner that's the Cigar Galaxy M82. Well they're really close together in the night sky and that's why you can see it there. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and click back on those icons so that we can see what we're doing with adjusting. There's a little star icon right above the red um, question marky looking icon. There's a little star. If you click on that one, it will circle those objects and tell you what they are. And you can see they're both there as labeled as M81 and M82. And I don't really want to see that all the time, so I'm going to click that off. I'd rather see the galaxy than a big circle. Now on this screen, uh, we've now got 40 seconds worth of exposures. Now we've got 50. It just clicked to 50. And so that's five 10 minute. Ex oh, it's a one minute and 50. I can't see it. My old eyeballs don't see it very good. But um, if you do it on a a tablet of some sort you can get a bigger screen and that's usually what I do but to record I have to do it on my iPhone and that's a little smaller screen now we have two minutes of tax uh, stacked exposures so that would be 12 10 second exposures um, but this is kind of how it's working you know we started with that fuzzy little dot 
And now with just a few more exposures and a little bit more time, we're actually starting to see the arms of that galaxy appear. And this is a really good one to demonstrate how the sea star works because it, it does appear like that. Um, there are some objects that appear immediately like M42, which is the Orion Nebula. It appears from exposure number one and just gets more and more fabulous with each exposure. It looks fabulous from the first one and just gets more and more fabulous. But Bodhi's Galaxy is a fun one because it starts with a little fuzzy dot and then becomes um, a galaxy that you can see the spiral arms. It kind of looks like a letter S, a little, maybe an italicized letter S right now. Now in this app over on the right hand side, there's a little pen with little stars on it. That's the AI denoising button. Now if I push on that one, the screen disappears, but don't worry. There's still stuff going on behind the scenes. This is just allowing you to denoise that image. And so artificial intelligence is making that image better. And here in a second, it'll pop up. And there you see it. See how it's it's made it look a little bit more smooth. Um, up in the top right hand corner, there's the letter COMP for comparison. If you click on that, it'll show you what it was to begin with. And then you un take your finger off of that and it shows you the denoised version. And there, see, you can toggle between them. Uh, down at the bottom, you can adjust the contrast and the brightness. And I like to make them a little bit darker, but see, if I'd make it too dark, the arms of the galaxy disappear. And we don't want that to happen. Um, the one with all the rainbow colors, it'll change it. If you go to the right, it makes it more orange and yellow. But see, that doesn't look like a real galaxy. So we don't really want to do that. If you go to the left, it makes it more white. If you hit that little reset button, it'll put it back to neutral position. Um, you can crop it and rotate it here with this button over here on the right. And then once you've got something that you find fabulous, up in the top right hand corner, you can click that square with an arrow and that will let you export that and save it to your phone. Just click save image. Now it's saved a JPEG on my phone that I can look at now or later just saves it to my phone. Um, now the image is still imaging while we've been messing around with this. So let's click this arrow button to the left. And now we see where it's at. It's got four minutes and 30 seconds worth of exposures. So it's gotten quite a bit longer. Um, and so this is kind of how this stacking works. Um, you can stop it and do some autofocusing here. You can stop it, turn on the light pollution filter. Um, but this is a good example of how the sea star stacks those images. And if you can remember back that very first exposure, it was a little tiny fuzzy dot. And now you can see the arms of the galaxy. Um, I like to make it the background a little bit darker so that those pop. Um, if I want to make it a little wider, I can. Um, I can also make it a little brighter do contrast on it see this isn't changing the actual image that is being saved it's just changing what i'm viewing uh, right now and so that's a an example of how the sea star works and what you can expect when you're imaging objects not all of them appear this quickly some of them never appear no matter how much time you spend on them but this is a really good example of how the stacking works and how it appears. I hope you've enjoyed this um, video. Please share with me your experiences with the Sea Star. We'd love to have you join us on the journey. Um, thanks for joining and we're wishing clear skies for everybody. Here's just an added little bonus as we were recording and editing this video. We left it running to add more stacked exposures on the image and this is 25 minutes of stacked exposures on that Bodhi's galaxy. So this image was taken all in the same night uh, and all together on the one run of that image. And so you can kind of see 
this is a beautiful galaxy. It's a fun one to do because it appears so quickly, but this is Bodhi's galaxy.